Today we're going to be looking at almost every distortion pedal that Kevin Shields of My Bloody Valentine has used throughout his career, including pedals he used on the 1991 Loveless Tour and more recent additions for pedals that have been used from 2008 and onwards. We're also going to be looking at a pedal specifically designed to encapsulate every shoegaze fuzz and distortion sound you could ever need. The Vala Oscillation is really the only distortion that we've been using on our upcoming Shigaze album, and it's the only pedal we use on our new song, Mesmerized. First up, we're going to look at some tone benders. So, Grindle of Life is in Fair fame, who actually makes our Vala Oscillation pedal, sent over a couple of these solar sound slash color sound tone benders which actually jake rothman is making nowadays The Yellow Hybrid OC140 Tone Bender we have here is more of a recent addition to the Tone Bender line in the grand scheme of things. The original Solar Sound Tone Bender Mark 1 was released in 1965. That was followed by the Mark 1.5 again in 65. In 66, they released the Mark 2. And around 1970, the Mark 4 came out. This pedal comes at a really nice time for me. I've been researching a lot of British fuzz pedals, British effects, really. It's connecting to that side of things. It might just be because I'm homesick. I, I, like when I was at home, I didn't necessarily connect to to the Britishness, the British part of me, because I'm also Italian and Ukrainian. I'm, I'm many things. I don't know what I am. I'm confused. I'm definitely a shoegazer. I'll tell you that much. So I've been speaking with Jake, who is building these tone benders up for Solar Sound slash Color Sound slash Macarius, all all under the the same kind of banner and they originally had a, a shop down Denmark Street in London it was part of that big movement down there in the 60s. So Jake says the circuit for the yellow is interesting involving a bit of serendipity it's basically an overdriven single Germanian transistor common emitter stage. The funny bit is when I was developing it I accidentally used a flat battery measuring 4.7 volts and it sounded much better. It wasn't perfect it biased itself off if driven too hard breaking up the sound and that's that's something I've always really liked with fuzz pedals and it's what we we do with our vital oscillation as well that kind of breaking up sound it's it's a really special sound great for for riffs and for chords as well so that's really great Jake goes on to say the cure for that was a germanian diode wired in reverse across the base emitter junction of the transistor this junction is itself a diode which results in a drifting dc biasing point derived from the input signal by putting another diode across the other way around cancels this effect since the plus and minus signal paths are now equal resistance this results in no build up of DC. Another advantage is that the temperature dependent Germanian leakage currents cancel. Another problem that had to be dealt with was that the first few units used standard PNP Germanian transistors, which have the problem of needing a negative power supply. I solved this by finding a high gain NPN transistor. I used the Mullard OC140, an old computer transistor from 1959.
The Vile Oscillation is an all original circuit developed in collaboration with Grindle. So we brought all our ideas, all the shoegaze fuzz and distortions we loved from doing five years of this channel. Just put everything we loved into this. So I'm a really big fan of gated effects, gated distortions. I'm a big fan of like spluttery kind of glitchy sounds. This even does like kind of like tremolo like stuff. Hidden oscillation. I tend to roll back the treble knob and get muffled washy sounds. Really good pedal to, to try out for Shigas. And we have lots of lots of pedals to come. It takes your time when you're, you're doing this thing independently with just a small team, keeping it honest, keeping it direct and keeping it Shigas. So keep on gazing. It's such a special way to be able to connect with all of our listeners that love our Shigas films. next we have the Kevin Shields blender. Thanks again so much to Kevin Shields and Fender for giving this pedal for the launch uh, last year. It's probably still like the biggest thing that's ever happened to this channel. We were so over the moon to share that release video with all of you that watch our shoegaze films. Yeah I just um, yeah it just means so much more. I haven't started this from my room just starting it from the ground up to be involved in something like this is crazy for me and um, yeah just she gaze. She is is alive, baby. So Kevin Shields used the original Fender Blender and then when they wanted to reissue it, they went to him and asked if he wanted to work on one with them. This is similar to the original Fender Blender, but it also adds in a sag feature which replicates tube amps when they sag. Yeah, this has got a lot more functionality than the original. Really enjoy playing this pedal. Definitely go check out. We've got two full length videos on all the features on this pedal. So definitely go check those out for a more in-depth look at this and Definitely subscribe if you're into shoegaze and geeking out about pedals with us. It's what we like doing and uh, we're grateful to do it. On the 1991 Loveless Tour, Kevin Shields was using a Marshall Shredmaster. While Belinda was using an HM2. Today I've got the Shredmaster in the Ultra Drive. This is actually my favorite version of the Shredmaster. I know they recently reissued the, the original Shredmaster, but this one's just got more options. And interestingly, we've got a 91 mode, which can mimic the Shredmaster from around that time. And it's uh, also called Ultra Drive because it's based on the sounds of a certain Oxford band called Radiohead. Kevin Shields is a big fan of Devi circuits. He's used things including the shoegazer I have here. And other ones like the Godzilla, which you've got on the channel, so definitely go check that video out. And Torn Speaker, which we also have. This is actually made by Grindle from Life Isn't Fair, who was making uh, Devi circuits as Devi Ever Kimru uh, a few years ago. That's why when we decided to make a shoegaze distortion pedal, we knew we were gonna go to our friend Life's Unfair Audio. They know the right around fuzz. Yeah, definitely do. They've been like making so many different fuzz circuits and um, yeah, a little nice, uh, little fact about uh, Grindel. They're a big fan of their neon colors, hence, hence this like super bright pedal, which is really cool actually.
This was not planned. Um, it might have been slightly. Uh, this is actually like Kurt Cobain's most worn t-shirt, so, and it's got a big muff on it. It's got mud honey on it. Like, there's so many reasons to like this t-shirt. And so the big muff is, of, it has been used by Kevin Shields. One of the most used fuzz circuits. Who hasn't used a big muff? Yeah, exactly. So Kevin Shields had a had a little big muff last time I checked his, his pedal board. Today we've got the, the hardware plug-in version, the new one, which is like, bringing the technology of the the 60s into the 21st century it's all sci-fi and technical really enjoy it. and i was yeah i was really excited when they released this so cheers to electro harmonics for sending this one through and gonna be playing this one today What do you want to say? No, she don't want to say nothing. You need a kiss?